Greetings, greetings, greetings once again, my sports to the bone people. Welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Thank you all for clicking and checking this video out. So a couple of things I want to talk about in this one. Now, in the middle of the CPL and Jamaica not bidding to host World Cup games and all bugger things, the West Indies under 19 players they have been over there in Sri Lanka working hard in their uh, first four-day, uh, can call it unofficial test match, right? The game ended in a draw today, so we're going to take some time, take a look at the scorecard. We would have seen Jordan Johnson getting 149, so we're going to go through that. Plus, we see where a couple of people from the Caribbean were listed as officials for the upcoming um, T20 World Cup. So just give a listening ear until the end and let me know what you think in the comment section. So this is going to be a quick recap instead of the overall scoreboard or scorecard. So taking it from the West Indies um, official website, it says Superb Johnson hits 149 to guide West Indies to safety. So they say Jordan Johnson struck his second century of the ongoing tour as the West Indies earned a hard-fought draw against the Sri Lanka on the final day of the opening youth test on Friday. Right, it says starting the final day, um, 54 on 54, the left-hander made a splendid 149, which helped the West Indies to post 309 all out in response to the host 432 for 8 declared right they say the knock followed up his 105 in the second youth one day international just over a week ago all right they say the 18 year old johnson faced 207 balls struck 11 fours and uh two of and two sixes right so good to see johnson there doing his thing and for those who are not sure, he's, a, you know, he's from Jamaica. He's a, he's a young cricketer there from Jamaica. So they say, but in a second time, Sri Lanka under-19s finished on 122 for 4. Um, 122 for 4. They say the West Indies under-19 uh, under starting the day on 119 for 3. Right? Still uh, 313 runs in arrears. They were still under pressure to produce a strong batting performance. Johnson rose to the occasion once again with a superb innings which ensured West Indies uh, limited their first inning deficit to 123. So they say he first extended his fourth wicket stand with fellow uh, player Steve Wedderburn who made 41 um, to 110 before putting on another 96 for the seventh wicket with Nathan Edward who made 36. They say Wedderburn faced 104 balls and counted two fours and a six in a patient knock while Edward struck four fours in an 83 ball knock. They say once Johnson was uh, once Johnson was seventh out, the West Indies lost their last four wickets for 22 runs. Not good at all my people. Right, or oh, 22 runs. They say West Indies under 19s then struck early when fast bowler um, Isaiah Throne had uh, their captain Jawardna, Jawardina caught at the wicket without scoring off the third ball of the innings with a run on the board. So the team fighting out there to a solid drama, viewers and subscribers. Good to see um, Jordan getting another century there. It's always good when the youngsters play and they are able to put together big totals you know um we lost the we, we lost the three match oh, the, uh, the three match uh, ODI series 2-1 and this uh is the first of two unofficial test match and it has ended in a draw so you know good to see how that go now my people all right so the next thing all right so taking this one from the West Indies official website just the same the headline says Sir Richie and Joel Wilson named among ICC Cricket World Cup match officials. So it says Sir Richie Richardson and Joel Wilson 
have been named among the match officials for the 13th edition of the ICC Men's Cricket World Cup to be played in India. Right? So they say Sir Richie, the West Indies batting legend and former team manager, will be among the match referees for the marquee global event. They say Wilson, a veteran of 85 one day match, um, Wilson, a veteran of 85 one day internationals and 36 tests, is among the umpires chosen to stand in the middle. They say the ICC made the announcement on Friday morning. The umpires are, um, you know, and they give out the rest of the umpires, but those are the two. The, Joel Wilson is the only one that we have um, there from, from our part of the world, right? So, you know, it's, it's good to see that. So, Wazim Khan, the ICC general manager, said this. To deliver an event of uh, this magnitude, you require high-performing individuals at every level. The ICC elite panel of umpires, referees and emerging group of umpires involved will bring immense skills, experience and world-class standards to this World Cup. They say, we are delighted with the group that we have assembled for this tournament. They went on to say the ICC Cricket Operations Department takes great pride and effort in operating a robust and meticulous um, uh, uh, process, right? So uh, that is what they are saying. So, you know, those are our two officials that will be in, um, in, 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 in action there. So, you know, congratulations to them. Everybody always, as officials, always want to get the top gigs, the top jobs. And to get uh, something like this in your own, in your home um, part of the world, you know, that is definitely good. So, going to continue to monitor that, you know. Um, so, uh, hold on, let me see. No, man, this is this is actually uh, this is actually the, the one to be played in India. So I don't know what I'm talking about. They are getting getting an opportunity to 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 to, to work in their part of the world. I was thinking of the. T20 World Cup that we're going to host next year but these guys will actually be in India for the ODI um, for the ODI World Cup there so congratulations to them and that is basically it for this one my people just want to say thank you all for the support thank you guys for watching thank you guys for sharing thank you guys for liking and if you have already subscribed to the channel just continue to watch the platform if you have not yet subscribed just make sure you subscribe if if you appreciate the work that is done and you want to be a part of the family. Big up on yourself, my people. Stay safe. CPL will be back tomorrow. Big up.